Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Fast Entrepreneur and my name is Justin. Let's get it. Woo, that's my intro. Just kind of something quick. All right, anyways, we're back. On this channel, we talk about how to make money, how to make our lives better. And specifically, we talk a lot about cryptocurrency. Why? Because unless you don't know, or maybe you do, if you don't know, now you know. We're in a cryptocurrency bull market, probably one of the biggest uh, in history, and probably one of the largest uh, possible gains that people have seen in their lifetime, if they know what they're doing and they know where to look. So, this is the state of crypto, and it is April 20th. So it's 420, 2021, and I just wanna give a quick update of where we are, where potentially we might be going, and uh, you know, hey, if, if you're new, Welcome. As you notice, a lot of times I just shoot videos as I'm taking a walk. Um, you know, I share what I'm thinking. Some of my videos get a few views. Some get uh, not so many views, and that's all right. Uh, but you know what? If you like it, uh, write a comment, share, subscribe, um, and I'll be glad to, uh, uh, you know, share more comments or do more videos uh, if you're interested on specific topics. But let's get into it. So quick recap. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, Bitcoin 2009, it's based on blockchain. Uh, it's huge, it's going out of control. Um, every four years there's a halving and we kind of get these uh, cycles every four years. It goes up and it goes down. It's almost been like clockwork. So we're currently in one. Uh, it started last year. Uh, some could say it in the summer, but uh, you know, really picked up uh, earlier this year. So maybe we're you know several months in, say three, four months in. Um, now, a lot of people look at these charts, they think, okay, it's gonna end uh, you know, at the end of this year. So maybe we got another four, five, six uh, months or beyond. Who knows, maybe it'll go longer. But the truth of the matter is, um, there can be money to be made. Uh, there can also be money to be lost uh, if you get in too late, or you get into the wrong projects, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the reality is, um, you know, we're probably, in my opinion, this isn't financial advice, I'm just some guy taking a walk talking about crypto. Um, but, uh, yeah, do your own research, but I think maybe a lot of the indicators uh, say that we've still got some room to go. So maybe we've got uh, a few more months. And but but I will say this: it's probably much more riskier uh, to get into the market uh, now than it was four or five months ago. Right, four or five months ago, you know, if you look at a lot of these charts on Coin Market Cap, Coin Gecko. You can pull up all these coins, you know, most of them have already gone up, you know, five times at least. So, well, what does that mean for your gains? Well, if you were looking for, you know, maybe 10, a 10x, right? 10 times your initial investment. Um, you know, if you got in then, hey, you're halfway there. If you get in now, uh, you know, it's the other people already are halfway there. You're, you're back at the starting line. And uh, so the chances are that uh, those projects, some of those projects that you were looking at, it's all about timing and, you know, but hey, the good news is uh, there's always new projects and there's always new things coming out. Uh, but the important thing is focus on the narratives, focus on, on uh, what's real. And also, this is all speculative, right? I mean, none of these projects uh, that I know of, I don't care if it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, you know, Cardano, you name it. Uh, none of them are worth what they're really worth, right? I mean, some of these projects, you know, Cardano, I, I don't even think, you know, where's their product? You know, I look left, look right. I mean, where's the product? I don't see it. I don't see it. You know, but we're looking, you know... <laughs> I don't know, what's it at, 40 billion? It's ridiculous money, right? But it's speculative. And so if more other people think, you know, it's kind of like a hot potato. Hey, you know, I'll throw the hot potato to you, you throw it back to me. I just don't want to get stuck with the hot potato when the music stops, right? And that's kind of the way that people look at this. So you're kind of playing the, uh, you know, the game of, you know, well, what is everybody else going to do? And can I get to, you know, can I, can I get to where they're going to go? You know, can I, can I not just get the puck, but can I go to where the puck is going to be, uh, and that's kind of the mentality. So the narratives that are leading this, you know, obviously, you know, Bit Bitcoin kind of leads this whole uh, cycle. Uh, you also have layer ones. You know, these are the big things like Ethereum, Polkadot. Um, we've also got, you know, Binance Smart Chain, etc. So we've got, uh, you know, some competition. I'm not going to go through them all. But then above and beyond that, you know, we've got narratives like DeFi, decentralized finance took off about a, last year uh, and I it's still got some legs and you know some very interesting uh, projects um, you know 
what <laughs> you can name name a bunch of them whether it's a you know ave synthetics compound um balance i mean there's just a ton there's there's a ton you've got decentralization you've got like pancake swap you've got uniswap um okay you've also got nfts right i mean i made a video i think i was you know paris hilton was even talking about uh, she's launching an nft what's an nft non-fungible tokens right you can do it with baseball cards you can do it with pokemon you can do it with basically anything so that's you know okay that's a narrative you got to follow these narratives uh if you want to kind of get an idea what's going on okay great then what um kind of a newer uh, i wouldn't say a newer one but one that uh at least that you know i think is, is worth noting because uh is launch pads um well, what are launch pads let's say you want to launch a, a token you want to launch your project your or you know your company your blockchain whatever um if you get one of these launch pads right whether it's you know i'll just you know shout out to say say a super farm or paid or you know whatever it might be you know kick pad whatever it is um you know you take a look at some of these launch pads um you know binance uh launch pad some of these projects, they just get much more exposure. Um, and the early investors that have allocation in these launch pads, some of them can see, you know, 10x, 20x overnight. Um, literally, you know, they, but there are steps, you know, sometimes you have to hold a certain number of tokens, you have to maybe take some steps, you have to apply, etc. Uh, and you get some allocation, or maybe it's a lottery, but it is what it is. And I'm probably talking fast. But that's some of the narratives. I'm sure there's more. And right now, I mean, one of the major narratives, it's kind of ridiculous as I'm speaking, this is the state of crypto as we speak. Like I said, a lot of these major projects, right? I'm talking the major products, the ones that probably have staying power, right? The ones that have been here uh, through the last bull run and, and the crash and they survived, right? A lot of those have already gone up, say five to seven X. So do I think they can still go up? Yeah. But from here, you know, how far can they go? I don't know. Maybe another 3x, maybe another 5x, maybe 10x or more. We don't, we don't know. Uh, but there is certainly some, you know, there's been some growth behind them. In terms of the current narrative, I mean, listen, Dogecoin, when the world's richest man, right, Elon Musk, you know, Tesla, SpaceX, you guys know him. You know, when he tweets, uh, you know, <laughs> when he tweets about Dogecoin, the thing goes crazy. I mean, just last week, the thing was up 500 something percent. I mean, that's crazy. That means a 5x. That means, you know, you, you invest a thousand dollars, you know, at the end of the week, you, you know, you, it's, it's, it's like, you know, $5,000, you know, you're, 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 you know, or more. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. You know, I'm, 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 I'm doing rough math here. I'm just trying to give you an idea of where we're at, but this kind of is the state of crypto. So where are we going from here? Well, a lot of the charts, a lot of the um, indicators look pretty healthy. It looks like the market is increasing, but it looks like, hey, we've maybe got some more gas in the tank. Um, but again, I say, you know, just know where you're at, right? Know your perspective, right? Know your perspective, zoom out, right? When you're looking at the charts, you know, look at the weekly charts, look at the monthly charts, zoom out, see where you are, see where you potentially can go, do your own research. Um, and then usually, if you look at some of these market cycles, I mean, they almost all pretty much go the same, right? We're past the accumulation phase. That's where, you know, months ago, people could have, you know, bought a lot real cheap. A lot of those people are in profit. Now, you know, we've kind of had some corrections and you get those. And some of these corrections can be brutal. You know, 30%, 40% corrections. Um, however, we're still going up and up and up. So, you know, when you correct, sometimes you're not correcting, you know, necessarily all the way down. You're still, you know, you're going up, then you're going down, then you're going up, then you're going down. Um, and then, you know, finally, we're going to probably enter a euphoria stage. I'll do it again. Euphoria stage. Euphoria. Whoa, 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 whoa. Euphoria. Well, what is euphoria? Well, that's when, you know, everybody, that's when, you know, you're everybody. I mean, everybody you're talking on the street, you know, you go to the gym, they're talking about, you know, some, some crypto. You, you go to your barber, everybody in the barbershop's talking about crypto. You go to the grocery store, they're asking about it. <laughs> like that's when, you know, your, your grandmother calls you and says, Hey, I think I should buy this. Thing. That's when, you know, and at that point, Hey, before you can last for a little bit, right? It's kind of like a, like a high, you know, it feels good when you're on the way up, but it can crash. And uh, so far, it usually does. And that's not just in crypto. That's in most markets. You know, it takes time. But uh, when it does, it can be brutal. So, you know, if you're looking to get into this market, find out where you're at. You know, maybe we're in the middle of the game. And, uh, you know, but just uh, know your risk tolerance. And, uh, you know, anyways, that's all I got. That is the state of crypto for 2021.
Peace.